Hey there, I'm Bonnie Patino. Here are some of the stories making headlines locally. Well, Roseville Union School District tapping into their tower originally meant for its buses now to bridge the digital divide. During the pandemic, the district had someone climb the tower and install transmitters to send a radio signal to receivers in the students' homes. This way, the entire homes had internet rather than relying on hotspots for a couple of devices. At its peak, they helped about 1,200 families and brought internet access to almost 300 students. Meanwhile, California's water shortage is growing more dire. People here are only permitted to water their lawns on certain days and for a limited time. Now there's a team who patrols the streets, cracking down on those ignoring the measures. Municipal water districts in Southern California go out looking for anyone breaking those rules and find those abusing the water sometimes thousands of dollars. After a customer uses more than 150% of their water allocation four times, they'll be in line to get a simple but effective flow restrictor installed. Installed, excuse me. The Cal State Bakersfield Veteran Success Center hosted an event this week to help welcome their military students back to campus. The meeting greet kicked off Wednesday, where faculty and staff could provide information for our service members who are headed back to school, with details on programs that are available to help them. And now let's take a look at your weather forecast with 23 ABC's Ava Krischer. Day forecast 97 for the high today, and if we stay in those double digits, we will be breaking our 14-day heat wave. But it looks like we'll have double digits on Monday as well with a high of 98 and get right back into those hundreds on Tuesday. High of 101 on Tuesday, 102 on Wednesday, 103 on Thursday, 104 on Friday, and 103 on Saturday. Taking a look at our Mountain 7-day forecast, 96 today for Lake Isabella, and looks like they've got some triple digits throughout the week. It looks like Tehachapi is going to be 85 today and going to be low to mid 90s throughout the rest of the week. Fraser Park also 84 today and some low 90s throughout the rest of the week. So things are going to warm up next week, but let's enjoy this cool few days. Thank you, Ava. Well, that's a look at what's making headlines. We'll have another update for you later today. Have a good one.